Hey folks, Ray from Love You RV. Well, we got a warm sunny day here on Vancouver Island, so I've gone through and uh, washed the, the cougar. Got it all looking good again underneath, got all the desert dust off it finally. I thought this would be a good time to update you on a couple of lubricants that I reviewed. First we had the fluid film, which I reviewed last towards the end of last summer. I bought this myself. And then this uh, Bow Shield T9, the company sent me out a couple bottles of this to test out for them. That was sometime in December. So I've used both of them so far and um, I'll, I'll let you know what I found different between the two. Both of them actually did a pretty good job. They're kind of a, they kind of use like wool wax formula rather than, than your normal silicones or lithium grease type thing. So they protect against rust and they also lubricate. And what do I use them on? Maybe I'll go through and show you what I've used it on. I used it on the pin box, coated all the pin box there. Um, all the hinges for the doors and the locking mechanism. Um, my ladder I did, especially up here where it flips back and forth. Uh, going along here I did the undercarriage. I actually used it on my uh, slide mechanism as well. Got a couple of uh, gears through there. And then underneath the rig, I sprayed some of the suspension parts and coated them as well. Let's go to the back of the rig here. Basically anything metal, even painted metal, I covered. So I got a pull out bike rack, so I covered all that. Um, I did my stand for my water filters there and also my rear stabilizers coated them and my stairs and then also the locking mechanisms on the door this one has always been a been one that uh, I've had to lubricate all the time it seems like the rain will will wash away lubricant and then a lot of different things on the truck, some of the hinges and also the, the hitch there and the locking mechanism for the hitch. So that got all coated with it as well. And my front jacks. And the clips there. So quite a bit of stuff. So what was the verdict? Well, of the two, I'd have to give the nod to the Bow Shield T9. And mostly that's because it was a little less messy. Uh, it didn't attract the dust near as much as the fluid film. So, I think it's much better for uh, anything that's got a moving part in it, like uh, locks or hinges, or uh, say the, the tracks on the slide, uh, the the entrance stairs, the stabilizers, anything that's got a moving part. I think this is what I'm going to go with. Uh, the fluid film works well. It prevents prevents uh, uh, rust really well. I think I may still use this because this you can get a little bit cheaper than, than this stuff. Especially if you buy this in more of a, a bulk bulk quantity you can get the price down quite a bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll use this on areas where I don't care if a little layer, what it does is it kind of gets an oily film that it leaves and then attracts a, a small layer of dust. Once the dust is attracted to the layer, it's fine. It'll it'll just stay like that. So, uh, but that's not good in a, in a moving part situation. So I'll use that for maybe the undercarriage and, and things like that, where I don't care if a bit of a bit of dust shows up onto the fluid film it'll just prevent any corrosion from taking place and I'll use this for anything like I say moving parts or anywhere where it's exposed and I, I want it to still look pretty so there you go that's my opinion of those two uh, if you want to catch up on any maintenance videos if you're kicking around your house and you're, you're into doing some maintenance on your RV I'll link to uh, my big archive of uh, maintenance stuff so it goes way back. I have all kinds of stuff on washing the rig and waxing the rig and all sorts of maintenance jobs around the RV. Till next time, Ray from loveyourrv.com. Cheers, everyone.